Welcome to another MP4Nation.net play and review. Today we have the new Yinlips G80 Micro PC. Uh, it's a basically an MID device which runs on WinCE 5.0 with a Samsung ARM uh, chip uh, running at 533 MHz. Uh, so it is kind of powerful. Here's a bulky box that it comes in. Here's the MID or Micro PC or player, whatever you want to call it. Here, let me just show you the accessories. <clears throat> It does come with you know, your standard earphones, uh, a USB to Ethernet K uh, adapter, so for you know internet via the Ethernet cable. It does have built-in Wi-Fi also. Uh, another pair of crappy earphones. <laughs> uh, here's a cable that you can connect other USB devices to the player, so because uh, it does allow for on-the-go function. So you can add ex additional memory either from a flash drive or even connect a external hard drive to it. And also you can connect like a USB hub or you know your mouse or keyboard that you can connect directly or through a USB hub. I even was, I was even able to use a wireless um, mouse and keyboard without any additional drivers and stuff. So there is actually quite a few devices that you could hook up to the uh, to the player. All right. Uh, your standard USB cable, <clears throat> 5 pin USB cable. This is a Chinese language manual, but uh, Yinlips has told us that they can provide a English language manual, but in PDF format. All right, so here is the actual micro PC slash MID slash player. <laughs> uh, it does have a clamshell design. Uh, it is a plastic body. Uh, it's it's about the weight of you know about 250 grams or so. Not really too and not that heavy, but you would expect on this sort of device. Anyway, it has on off your five pin USB slot here. Uh, there are actually three USB slots here, but this is the only one that you can charge from plus it connects to the PC. Uh, I can get charged from a wall charger or directly off your PC also. Uh, the player does have 64 MB internal memory, that's where the WinCE uh, uh, image is basically stored and loaded from. All the actual memory comes from uh, uh, mini SD cards. It handles, right now they told us it can handle between 4 up to 8 GB. This one has 4 GB, uh, a 4 GB card in it. If we do so, when, uh, when we do sell this, it will have four, it will come with a 4 GB card also. And here's your second and third USB slots. This one is to connect uh, other USB devices, and this one's to connect to an Ethernet uh, for the Ethernet adapter. And your line in and your earphone. And it has one 1.3 megapixel camera here, with another 1.3 megapixel camera over here. Uh, it does have a game layout, but really these buttons, I wouldn't say, are should be used for gaming. Uh, in fact, uh, they it's more for like scrolling and stuff. And a good thing about this player is that, well, this device is that it does load up very fast. Uh, for a WinCE device with all the function stuff, it loads in about 30 seconds or so, 34 or 5 seconds. Compare that to the Smart Q Q5. Uh, the Q5 takes about a minute and a half. A minute to a minute and a half to load up. So there are some advantages to this, and as I said, it does have built-in Wi-Fi with a stylus port over there. And there you go; it's connected to my wireless router already. And I'll show you right away the internet function. It comes with Pocket Internet Explorer. Unlike other current um, web browsers that are made for mobile devices, this one does not rescale the entire web page to fit onto the screen as you saw uh, as you do with like well the Q5 comes with Midori and that does resize everything to fit on the screen so but the good thing is that the Samsung AR on processor is actually quite powerful and allows for very smooth scrolling more so than I found on the Q5 and I've had a previous WinCE device like this that ran on a slower uh, ARM chipset and that did have issues with scrolling and you can even scroll with you buttons down here and stuff so let me just show you but again you know this is a small compact device you can expect it to load as fast as say your PC so in that you know if you're visiting like the blog like our blog which has lots of images and stuff you should allow for the entire page to load before you start trying to scroll through everything otherwise you're gonna be a little frustrated while because you know it's a compact device it can't you can't expect it to handle like your own PC so Understand there are limitations to this, but as you can see, you can uh, scroll easily. 
Cool. And it doesn't handle flash like you saw that big gap that that's actually where our YouTube video was. So it you can't watch you can't watch YouTube and stuff. But see the images actually show very clearly. It's just like viewing a full you know it is viewing the full web page and stuff. And do excuse my scrolling here. I am trying to scroll with a use this with a camera in front of my face. So <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to show you the website is great. Uh, actually it handles you know some sites are better designed for use on uh, mobile devices like for instance the forums is more set and again excuse me for being kind of slow here because I'm really trying to use this with a camera in front of my face well and I spelt that wrong <laughs> What's that? Well, that just added a one additional minute for me having to spell out forum on this video. Uh, it's not that bad when you have this right in front of your face without a camera in the way to actually write stuff a lot faster. And again, see, it does show, you know, the website's topics and stuff like that, so it's not that bad. And see, the pages do load relatively fast. Just sometimes you have to wait for the entire page to load. And then, you know, you can use, you can log on to Gmail and stuff like that. Especially Gmail, it's well suited for mobile devices. So even on their HTML version, uh, it actually loads up very nicely on this. And you can reply back and stuff like that. But so you, I mean, there it is. I mean, basically, it browses very well. The Wi-Fi is pretty good. I mean, it works anywhere between. Uh, you can be about. I don't have that the greatest wireless router. So from from the where the wireless router is to where the Wi-Fi will keep working, I can go about you know, a good 15 meters. So if you got a you know in a like a library or wherever where there's a more powerful wireless network then yeah you can pretty much be anywhere and this will work and you know there is also online radio which I wish I had set up before oh. and you know it's a full media player also it supports a lot of video different video codecs it does support actually uh, quite high resolution videos the processor is pretty good at that uh, uh, highest video I was able to play on this was about 920 950 resolution by 720 so I mean, it was certainly quite high and it played very well on this anyway it does support you know online radio and actually I did use the online radio quite a lot on this device it's quite nice to have um, let me just show you some additional like programs and stuff And as this is a uh, you know a good old WinC device, you will need to run Gappy, which basically you know allows for for additional games and stuff like that to be run. So like let me just show you Scum Scum VM, which allows you to play emulate a lot of um, old Lucas Arts games and stuff like that. And it does you know play well. Uh, let me just show you. Uh, do. Monkey Island, you know? I mean, the good thing about WinCE is that there's so many programs out there already for it that can work on this. You can even use, like, Pocket PC stuff, but with Pocket PC stuff, it's pretty much hit or miss if they'll work on this or not. I'm just showing this, uh, I'm not really going to, you can play this game perfectly well on this, just as you could on your PC, just, you know, it's a little smaller. There's, you know, also like Transport Tycoon for, you know, mobile devices that will work on this perfectly well, uh, a lot of other small games and stuff, so it does have that other entertainment aspect to it. And in fact, let me just quit out of this. 
and there are it does come with like you know pocket Excel pocket word and stuff like that so you can write small documents and stuff like that uh, another thing is you know it comes with core video player which is a very good media player better than the standard uh, pocket media player that this comes with uh, it does come with um, Microsoft Messenger which you know,